Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is with the favorite Chimendo and I welcome you to my channel. And if you're already part of this family, thank you. Thank you so so much for tuning in. Thank you so much for coming to see the video that is up on my channel today. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, just go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hit it right now so you don't miss out on any of my videos. So guys, in today's video, I'll be showing you guys how I did this box braid headband wig yeah it is a wig so guys without wasting much of your time let's just ride into this video and remember if you don't want to miss out on any of the tips on any of the hacks on any of the parts of this video make sure you watch the right end and guys don't forget to like this video comment and share with your friends <laughs> Hey loves and welcome back. So for this headband wig making, box braid headband wig making, you don't even need much and trust me guys, it is super easy to make. So you just need your dummy head and the headband. You can get your headband wig on Amazon but you can actually do it yourself as well. Just go ahead and use a velvet material or lycra material. I am using lycra material right now. Just use any material that is a bit stretchy. Then you need your trade, needle, tipping, and scissors. That's basically all you need for this headband wig making. So I'll just go ahead and bear my wig, uh, my headband on the dummy head, then use my tipping to hold it so that my sewing will be easy. And guys, I almost forgot the most important thing you need for this headband wig, which is the box braid. Yeah, you can get this in a hair store, in any hair store actually, or online. You can get any color of your choice and any length of your choice. So I'll be using 70 pieces for my headband wig making. You can use more than this or less than this, depending on how full you want the hair to be. So I'll just go ahead and start attaching the box braid on the headband. I am doing this in between the headband so that when I wear it on my head and I want to use my scarf to tie it, it's going to be firm on my head. And again, you don't want the weight of this box braid to drag the headband off your hair anytime you wear it. So go ahead and start attaching it in between the headband. And guys, please remember to make your sewing very tight because you wouldn't want this to lose out tomorrow. Just make it as tight as possible. So I'll just continue sewing my tracks to the front, attaching the box braid to the headband to the front. And again, if you want your work to be easy for you, don't go ahead cutting the thread after attaching each braid to the hair. Just continue sewing your tracks, more like you're doing, you're making a wig. Continue sewing it without cutting it so that your work will be much easier for you. And you guys already know the benefit of handband wigs. They are more like protective hairstyle for your edges especially and for your hair in general so guys if you haven't seen my other video that i did on headband wig making i will drop the link in the description box so just go ahead and watch that video and tell me what you think about it that video is very very detailed on everything you need to know about headband wig making and guys please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and comment tell me anything you think about it and also share with your friends and yeah if you haven't subscribed to my channel just go ahead and click that subscribe button just one click and you are good to go hit that subscribe button right now and turn the notification on so you'll be notified each time i post a new video so guys that's it for the progress i am done with the right side and i'm just going to continue doing the same thing to the left side till i get to the front just a bit after the ear of that dummy head and i am sorry i'm going to speed the video a little bit because i wouldn't want it to be lengthy and you guys wouldn't want to watch a lengthy video as well so let's just speed it up a little bit
so guys i have done attaching the box braid to the both sides of the headband and this is the remaining pieces it's like 15 pieces and i'm just going to attach it just a little bit above the one i've already done So guys, I actually forgot to say something at the beginning of this video, but yeah, it's never too late. So the thing is this, make sure that the headband you're using is the same size with your hair, sorry, with your head. So just go ahead and measure it with a tape before starting to sew. If you bought this on Amazon, if you got this online, measure it still. Maybe you can just use your needle and thread and shape it a little bit. And if you're doing it yourself, you can still go ahead and measure it and if you're using a velvet material the headband should be a little bit tight on you because after sewing it's going to slack a little bit again for long as this material is a bit stretchy with time it's going to keep slacking and stretching out so just make sure that the headband is a bit tight on you before you start sewing your breast on it So I am done attaching the 70 pieces all of it on this headband and I'm just going to do some trimming and I'll try it out right now. So guys I'll be using a scarf, three different scarves and a face cap to try this out. So the part that is filled up with braids is going to be at the back. Then the part that doesn't have any braids on it will be in the front just this way. So I just went ahead to place it on my head and arrange it very well. Then I'll be going in with my first scarf and first style. You guys already know this style. It's very simple. Just tie my scarf at the back and fix it very well and we are good to go. Okay, I'll just take some time out to admire myself because why? You guys can see now. You guys can see how how beautiful this is looking. How oh my god, I don't even know. If I do guys should stop typing it, type how he's looking because right now I already feel like this is my best style. But mm -mm. let's just hold on till we are done with everything. And you guys are going to tell me the best style yourself. And most importantly, I took pictures with all the styles because you guys already know I am in a relationship with pictures, like pictures with smiles. <laughs> And then we're moving over to the second style. So it wasn't as firm as I wanted it to be, so I just went ahead to use my pin and hold everything together. And guys, you guys can see how sweet, how beautiful, oh my god, in fact you guys just wear this style. I am I'm still much in love with the first one, but you guys just go ahead and tell me what to think. Oh 
So moving over to the third step, I just used my face cap, wore it and made it very tight and firm. And guys, that is it. I equally tried as much as possible to push everything and fit everything inside the cap. Just so there won't be any evidence that this is a headband wig. You guys can see how neat it is looking. Guys, please don't mind me. I was actually talking too much. Like, I think I was asking you guys what's your favorite style, but <laughs> I was beginning to talk too much. So I was looking for the color that will fit my clothes very well. So I will just go ahead and step out with it. And I saw this and I fully decided to show you guys how it looks. So you guys should just go on and tell me your favorite style. And also tell me what you think about this video in the comment section. I am waiting to hear it all. And if the video was really helpful to you, go ahead and give the video a thumbs up guys. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.